Best Visual Effects, Life of Pi, The Hobbit, The Avengers, Prometheus, Snow White and the Huntsman. Uh, I'd go with Life of Pi here as well. How about you, Tony? I'm not sure. I, I'm I'm leaning all over the place. I don't have a strong one. I I I like The Hobbit, mm-hmm. but I'll go with Life of Pi too because uh, my mentor says so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Dean, what do you say? Well, The Hobbit actually came out in the in the special effects guild. Uh, came out with the most nominations. Uh, came out with something like twelve or thirteen nominations. So, but. Uh, I'm going with Life of Pi because historically, if a film is nominated for Best Picture and is also nominated in Visual Effects, it usually wins Visual Effects. So. Okay. There's also this. I mean, one of the negative uh, criticisms of The Hobbit was that, especially when you viewed it in 48 frames per second, uh, the effects looked uh, unrealistic. They. Mm. they they, they kind I of show that point. too. Yeah, uh, Jerry, what do you say? I would, I will go with Life of Pi. Just, I mean, just a. Hey, I think that because when I read this book ten years ago, I was like, how could you ever make this into a movie? And Ang Lee and all of them figure out a way to do it, and mm-hmm. and it's amazing. Um, now the other film that I, I just because thank God it got some love is Prometheus, but I don't see that happening. I see this as hey, well let's give let's throw Prometheus a bone, but <laughs> it's Life of Pi. I, I just it, I you know, think if, that. If, if Robert Zemeckis had directed Life of Pi, they would have made the the human being on the boat CGI and actually made the tiger real. It would have we'll, been we'll get to out. Robert Zemeckis in the best acting category, okay? All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 